talking about the latest in sports media. Jenny Horn, host of Next Gen with your developing story. Uh, I understand this is a big number and a pretty big uh, league, the NCAA. It is. And so, okay, NCAA, ESPN reaching this eight-year deal. It's worth around $115 million annually, but the total deal is valued at like $980 million. I mean, this oh, is okay. crazy money. So what else is in there? How do we get that extra $800 million? So, well, that's like the total of the eight years. So it's $115 okay. million annually, and that's three times the size, roughly, okay. of their current deal, which was wow. around $40 million annually. It's almost a billion-dollar deal for less than a decade. It's huge, yeah. Eight years, over $900 million. I mean, this is pretty massive. They have said that a good chunk of that is going to go to various marketing costs, but also it will then help with some of the exclusive championship coverage of various rounds of, like, Women's basketball, volleyball, gymnastics, softball, uh, what have you. Just and every sport? Just any NCAA? It's not. I don't believe it's, it's okay. I don't know. Is that a dumb that's, question? That's, I'm not a sports guy. Part. I don't it know is, if that's a dumb question. It is 40 NCAA championships, so it's not like it's not every sport, I don't uh, believe. Okay, but it's, Gosh, I'm, I might be the wrong person to ask no, about I, that. I'm not the sports I mean, guy. <laughs> it, it does provide international. It's more than football. It is more than football. Okay, because my mind just went to like NCAA. Does that mean just football? That no, no, no. Right? That okay. means everything. That also means basketball. Basketball is actually, right. okay, funny that you say that because as we've seen the sports media landscape change actually women's sports have become much more lucrative to their overall business. Because right now we are seeing oh. women's sports notching record ratings in the recent years. Actually, ESPN has benefited hugely from airing the WNBA NCAA playoffs. And there's so much that so many people that were consulted on the deal said 57% of the value is tied to women's college basketball specifically, mm. which is kind of wow. amazing because I do feel like that is an aspect of sports that doesn't get the proper coverage. So that's yeah. definitely a bright spot. Media rights will also allow for revenue distribution units across women's basketball tournaments, men's basketball tournaments. See, I'm a pro sports girl, so I'm not as familiar with the NCAA world, but I do know this is like high, high viewership as far as ESPN goes. And this relationship between the NCAA and ESPN has lasted more than 45 years. So this is just continuing to strengthen that bond. But the next is... So it's the, not like a huge surprise. I don't believe it's a huge surprise. Because I'm kind of wondering throughout this whole thing, like, well, who else was like, you know, the Amazon going to take it? You know, was See, that... I think that would have been a shock. Now, the next segment that's up for grabs is the NBA because that is like huge money it's going to expect it to have a massive price tag but right now it has to make a current decision before it expires before the following excuse me the 2024-2025 season so that's the next major like cash cow that is right now up for grabs that I could see as far as like professional sports coverage goes I mean like Amazon Apple all seen as potential bidders but of course we will have that that's more of a wait and see story I will say that ESPN, when like looking at how this actually impacts the stocks, of course, majority owned by Disney, ESPN gets a lot of flack for being non-profitable. It's like hemorrhaging money, but actually in their fourth quarter, which was the first time they broke out the sports division as its own, we saw revenue rose around 1% and we did see operating income rise 16%. So hmm. ESPN viewership has actually improved despite that wow. all you really hear bad is- bad narrative. I know, all yeah. you hear is like a, so the losing subscribers. It did lose some actually in the third quarter and then came back in the fourth. So okay. breaking out those numbers, I think makes it look, if you look at year over year viewership, they're still up. Yeah, that's uh, pretty impressive uh, for all the flack they get in the commentary about content. Uh, well, they're spending the heck out of their budget on this, so uh, they're going to have to keep up the pace at minimum right now. All right. Uh, thanks, Jenny. Appreciate it.